G'day friends, welcome to day 27 of Inktober 2018. We are so soy close to the end. It is kind of unbelievable and it, it makes me nervous a little bit because I, for some reason, I thought we had a lot longer. I know it's, um, I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> I was about to go into like, why does time go quickly when you don't have enough of it and blah, blah, blah. It's just a boring conversation. We all know that. So, um, let me get you to the post today. It is, I decorated my big bow sailboat with leafy vine, starry twine, and a funny Google search quote. So, um, this one was really easy to unpack because there was some stuff in there, but I have to be honest, from the beginning, I thought this was one of the prompts that I would hate drawing the most because I wasn't keen on drawing a sailboat. I know I wrote it, but like I just didn't, I couldn't be bothered even when I was thinking about it <laughs> to, uh, to picture how this would come together. And I did a little bit of a thumbnail sketch off to the side before I started and thought, well, how do I keep this simple? I just need a really simple boat. And uh, I couldn't think of where to put Daisy in my little sketch. And so I kind of just popped her on the top of the page. And then all of a sudden it just kind of clicked to me. She's sitting on top of the mast. Like she's got her little captain's chair and her little, um, what's it called? The mast? I'm gonna call it a steering wheel because I don't really know what that thing's called. <laughs> I should know. I worked on ships for so long. <laughs> what is that thing called? I don't know. It's not, it's not a, I have no idea what it's called. A steering wheel. Someone's screaming at the computer right now and totally knows what I'm trying to say. Okay, irrespective. Um, so I, I just thought, well, fine, if I don't have any space on the little sailboat, I'm gonna put Daisy all the way at the top. And this has turned into one of my favorite pieces of Inktober this entire year. Well, I should say month, I haven't been doing it all year. Uh, but I just think there's something so fun about how this came together. It's so simple in its approach. I think the composition just kind of worked and I was truly just um, really thankful that it all came together this way because like I said, this wasn't one that I was excited to do. So the fact that it became one of my favorite pieces just goes to show you never really know, right? <laughs> you can think you're going to love something, then you start, and then it, you made this too much pressure or there's too much expectation. You start hating it. And then something you just don't even expect to get taken with uh, leads you down a new garden path. So this is what I'm uh, really excited to show you today because this is technically one of my favorites. So if not my actual very favorite, I have finished all the pieces. So I'm not quite sure if any of the other ones speak to me more than this one does. They might to you. If you do have a favorite so far, please let me know down below in the comments because I'd love to see um, or just love some feedback on, on which ones you thought were um, some of the best ones, just because um, as I start to put the book together, I'm going to have to choose one of my own to put in the book. And uh, my thought was I was just going to choose one from one of the least attempted uh, prompts from the series of uh, all the pieces that were uploaded to you, uh, Facebook. And so uh, I was going to wait to choose then. But if there's a resounding uh, r result, is that even a way to say that? Probably not. Welcome to my weekend. <laughs> I left my brain in Friday. Um, no, it's uh, if there is something that it seems to be like a little more popular than everything else, then I might try to put that one in. I'm not, just, I'm not sure, but you know, feedback is good nonetheless. So I am, uh, I'm just really excited to do this. This is the only uh, water ink that I did for this whole piece, this bit right here. Everything else was done with pen or a brush pen. And uh, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, I did some little water washes of pattern at the end as well, but just kept it really, really simple. And uh, I think that was the key for this one. This was, uh, this is just a winner in my books. I have to stop talking about it because now it's going to sound um, a bit like I've got tickets on myself. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I liked it because I never thought I would. So um, yeah, that's the prompt for today. I have to tell you as well, I've got a new little link down below in the description box and it is a link to my storefront on Amazon. So I've joined the Amazon influencers program. It is kind of the same as the affiliate link program. If you don't know what I'm talking about, um, I'll try and explain it super quickly without getting too technical and boring. Um, on the internet, on <laughs> social media, there are a lot of ways to make passive uh, income streams. And as you are kind of, you know, venture into the world of YouTube and, and you know, social media as, as kind of a business, you try to look for the new ways that people are doing that or the new options and opportunities you have to uh, monetize some of these platforms because it can be a little difficult 
to uh, turn a profit when, uh, you know, all of these things change at the drop of a hat. You know, YouTube suddenly had that day where it shut down or it changes an algorithm and then suddenly you're not getting views anymore. And so you can't rely on AdSense money, but you've got to try and find somewhere else. And there's a ton of different ways to go about uh, monetizing different social media platforms. And the best part is, as far as an influencer program or an affiliate link, it actually doesn't cost you anything extra and it doesn't cost me anything. So there's no overhead to set anything up and it actually doesn't cost anyone. It's just Amazon. Amazon's way of encouraging people to shop on Amazon, which to be honest, I don't even know why they do. Everyone shops on Amazon that I know anyway. So, um, so I just think it's a bit of a win-win. I don't expect this program to stay around forever, but it's been in effect for quite a while now. And they've even, you know, as I've been on there, they've changed some things. So, uh, this is new for me, this influencer program. And the only thing I think it really changes is that, uh, whereas I used to link all of the products down below, which I might still continue to do for the, on the off chance that people just want to pick up one or two things. Um, now I can have a storefront on Amazon and have lists of things there. So you can, uh, you don't have to find the link and then click back to it and, and go back to the page and, you know, flip about through your computer tabs. You can just go and shop the store of all the recommended products that I have. I can have a nice little uh, logo on there. I can put a cute little banner up there, but it is kind of like uh, a boutique of all the curated items that I like to use. Um, I, technically I could list anything on there, but I have kept it very specific to the art supplies that I want to use. I've put a top 10 favorites list up there as well. And uh, also an office supplies list, because if you are someone that does uh, run your own creative business, I know that myself, I've reached out to people a million times, you know, what bubble mailer do you use? What document mailer do you use? I'm trying to send a sticker sheet. How should I do that? Um, so, and, or like label printers, what is your print? What paper do you use? I've got lists for absolutely everything and all the products that I use are just right there. Um, well, the ones I could find on Amazon anyway, which is technically 95% of everything that I use. So it is just a, uh, a really effective way for me to be able to share all of those product recommendations with you. And uh, makes it a lot easier for you if you are on the hunt for any of them, because it is all curated in one storefront. I'm literally trying to get everyone I know to create these little storefronts because I know we like to use a lot of different things and it can become a bit of a... Um, a game of cat and mouse trying to find some of these products and the links. You know, it's it's all good to say, oh, I mentioned it in one video like six years ago. I have no idea where that video is. I'm not going to go through a search history to try and find it. Uh, but you don't want to also spam everyone every video you do telling, you know, every single product and every single link. Otherwise, your whole, all your videos would just be, um, you know, marketing for these, these products. Uh, so essentially, I think it is a really great program. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to stick around for, but I do have plans to, uh, to take the list a little further. I want to create a, um, like a journal basics kind of a list and, uh, maybe like a dream journaling kit, uh, for all your more uh, expensive and extravagant items. Also maybe a Christmas creatives list. I put my merch in there as well. My, my shirts, my hoodies, my sweaters. So, um, that's also a great place because at, at the moment, you know, without that storefront, there was actually no way to, uh, find a landing page for that. You did just have to find a link or search for it. So, uh, now it's much easier to grab a hold of pretty much anything I ever recommend in a video. You'll probably hear me mention it again because um, I, I just don't think that these Inktober videos, well I don't think, I know, um, <laughs> these Inktober videos don't quite get the traction that the other videos have and I do want to make sure that uh, most people have heard at least once or twice <laughs> that there is this new storefront because one of the things I get asked the most beyond any other question is what product is that or where did you find that or how can I get that? And, uh, and I've had a lot of people asking if I would do, you know, my favorites list or what would you recommend for me doing this? And it's, it's really hard to get back to everyone individually every single time. So this is just going to be a much more efficient way for us to share that information with each other. And, uh, and hopefully as I go through and again find new products and try new stuff that you guys recommend to me I can uh, link them up there for you and it's just um, it's just a great a great thing for everyone I guess you get the ease of knowing where that stuff is and I get to make a royalty off of that so I just wanted to be transparent about it because I know some people don't understand that affiliate program as well and uh, the the affiliate links I mean it's essentially the same thing except now there's a storefront so I don't see it much different but yeah if you're uh, if you have never been familiar with that program it is just uh, you know, say there's a pen that I recommend, like uh, the pen that I'm using, if I recommended that and there was a link down below, it, you could click on that link and it would reroute you through 
my personal link, uh, which is so that Amazon can tell that you've come from a link that I recommended you to. And then if you do purchase it or you purchase anything else, um, Amazon will see that I drove you to Amazon or I directed you there and they'll reward me with a small fee. Now, depending on what you buy, the fee is actually quite different. Um, so for something like a pen, it's, you know, if the pen costs $3 or something, you might make a few cents off of it. But um, I've had people buy the printer that I recommend that I personally use and I can make a few dollars off of that. But over time, as you have a, an audience that grows and you have a lot of other people that want to get involved in something specific that you, uh, maybe there's a series you're doing and there's a bunch of products that you're recommending, um, you know, those those dollars do add up and it is a great way for me to be able to subsidize the, uh, the costs of... Um, just trying to live <laughs> whilst putting out a lot of uh, free content. And uh, I, sometimes I don't even know if I should say free anymore because technically, I mean, I do make AdSense money off of YouTube and uh, I do make affiliate revenue off of YouTube. And these are all really great passive income streams that I would totally recommend, even if you don't have a... Um, you know, you don't want to grow a business or anything, but you do have a bit of a platform and you're just looking for like a bit of extra quick cash that you don't have to do much for. I would recommend that you look into some of this stuff because it is open to a lot of people. You know, you don't have to have a certain amount of following for any kind of affiliate link. You can just apply to be a part of the program and put your information in and you can get those links. Now, I do know it is different for different countries, so I should have prefaced all of that by saying this is all the US information. I think Australia has just done away with Amazon altogether, so that kind of uh, is a bit of a bummer, but um, well, not altogether. I believe you can only buy things in Amazon Australia that are Amazon Australia approved. I, don't, I think if you try to get onto any other Amazon site, it redirects you to Australian site and there's not a lot on there. And I know that when I was in Canada for a while, um, rehearsing for a contract that I was doing, I found that there wasn't a lot of options on Amazon Canada as well. So I'm not quite sure how people go about with that Amazon stuff. And that's why I say like, you know, take everything with a grain of salt. And as far as, um, you know, passive revenue streams and income streams, it is truly dependent on, on how they decide to structure this stuff. And uh, like I said, you could never really rely on one. That's why you kind of diversify it and you try a lot of different things just on the off chance that one of them just tanks all of a sudden. I truly don't know how um, like big YouTubers can feel so safe only being on YouTube. But then I think that's why we start to see merchandise coming out and that's why we start to see even that you could be a massive youtuber like with a million or two million uh, followers but you know the majority of their security does come from like brand deals or partnerships or sponsorships or um, merchandise that they create themselves or they're doing collaboration with a company so this is all like the uh, the new age of of modern social media and and business and this is why i'm like truly annoyed that i bothered going to business studies in high school <laughs> Because, you know, we didn't learn about any of this stuff then. This is all stuff that you have to learn just on the fly. And even if you did a business course last year, let me tell you, whatever you learned about YouTube and Instagram or heaven forbid, if you learned anything about Snapchat, all that stuff's changed. All the algorithms change quicker than you can snap your fingers. So it is kind of a really difficult thing to keep up with. It's exciting because sometimes you get opportunities you never thought you'd be able to get to uh, have in your whole life. Like I used to want to be a fashion designer. The fact that I can just upload, uh, you know, my graphics now and make merch out of them. That's, that's crazy to me. I thought you'd, I thought you could only do that if someone offered that to you. <laughs> so it's an exciting new world, but it is a, a tricky one to navigate. If you want any more information about it, please don't hesitate to ask or uh, pop a comment below. I still have a few more videos to voice over and I'd be glad to share what I know with you. Um, but you know, if you're watching this in the future, don't listen to any of it because it might have all gone by now. <laughs> it is, uh, it's, it's, it's fast paced, the algorithm world. I don't know. I just imagine that there's these people just kind of laughing in their little offices, changing how everything works every two months. But anyway, it is a, it is a great thing to do. And if this is something that you're looking to get into, I wanted to, uh, you know, just approach you with some full transparency. If you uh, were confused about the influencer program or the affiliate program, I just wanted to let you know how that kind of works that, you know, it's the same price, whether you buy it directly from Amazon or through a link. Uh, but if you buy it through the link, then some of that money goes to whoever's link you uh, purchase that through. So if you find other creatives that you would love to support, please click their links as well. Don't feel pressured to click any of my links. Uh, you click 
the link of whoever you want to give a few cents to, and I'm sure they'd appreciate it. So that's all I want to hit you with today. I'll leave you with the Google quote. I need a six month vacation twice a year. I hear that. Yes, Daisy. Yes, Queen. <laughs> I'm off to my vacation very, very soon. Uh, unfortunately, not a six month vacation, but we'll see how long I can stretch it out for. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's piece. Until tomorrow, have a fantastic day and I'll see you then. Bye.